All right, so I'm gonna weld, weld, huh? I'm gonna solder this up. What's going on YouTube? Thank you for everybody that subscribes. I appreciate it and I'm gonna continue to try to get some content here once we get this tuned. We should have a dyno tune day pretty soon. But for today, I am going to install this boost solenoid. I've got this little mounting bracket and the boost solenoid. And I'm thinking about mounting it right there. Where that one little hole is right there. So I'll, I'll get it mounted up and then I'm going to use this small 18 gauge wire um, to run to it. One of the wires here, these are non-polaric, I think, or they don't have polarity, so polarity. One of these will be 12 volt, which I'll use the red for, and then the black will go to this pin here. I just took off the spare harness for A11 is the boost by gear PWM and S300. So once I get that mounted up, I'll take a shot of it, and then once I get it mounted up, I can determine the length of the wire and get the wire ran into the cabin. All right, so I'm gonna weld, weld, huh? I'm gonna solder this up. I'm gonna put some flux on here. Suck that solder in good. How much? My solder joint all the way through. A little heavy on the solder, but definitely not going anywhere. Piece of heat shrink across it. Auto focus doesn't work very well in here. One side done. Now into the car. What's up YouTube? So today we are going to do some soldering on our ECU. So I just got the PC or PWM components to put into the ECU. So I already kind of started with right here, D14, which is going to be super hard for you guys to see. Um, yeah. There we go, D14 right there, so there's a diode there. And then we got um, a couple other transistors and resistors. So, I'm going to make a little time lapse here of me doing it.
I'm just cutting the excess after I soldered it. It's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but there we go. You can see these pins are sticking up. There we go. Now, no more pins taken out. A transistor, diode, two resistors, another little baby transistor over here. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see all that, but it's really hard to see. Those are the components. This is D4, no, this is Q29. This is D14, R70, R71, and then over here we got Q20. All installed, put the covers back on. Oh, be really out of focus fight it as it's trying to focus itself. Whoa, there we go. Um, but I'm gonna put the covers back on and then I will put in the car and hopefully my little um, boost solenoid makes noise. So I was just editing my footage for the boost solenoid slash ECU um, boost component video. And I realized I never showed the actual plumbing of the boost solenoid. So, I should show that. So down here, light on it. So right there is where I'm mounted my boost solenoid. Oh, you can't see it. So right there is where I mounted the boost solenoid. So right here is port one. And what you do is you tee it off of your boost source. So my boost source is right here, coming back to my intake manifold. So right here is my vacuum boost. So that's coming into a T. The T then goes to port one, and then on the synapse wastegate, it goes to this bottom port and top port. Um, this combination of A and D on this port, or on this wastegate, will give you 9.9 .9 pounds, or 10 pounds of boost, 9.9. .9. So I may move this to C to get to seven if I need less boost to begin with. And then my top port, is in port two. So right here, the boost solenoid, oh, I gotta get my hand out of the way. So right here, this top port goes to port two on the boost solenoid. And then port three should be this muffler that I didn't put on there yet, but um, right here. So this little muffler is supposed to go on port three. Then my wiring came back right here and I soldered right here so I soldered that on I should have probably put a um, zip tie to hold that in there I should probably do that um and then I just ran the wiring into the cabin through the firewall and then on the inside this took me a lot of time to figure out but so here on the inside, I 
I wired this 12 volt switched as one, like I said. And then the other one is this, uh, where is it? Yep, this one right here, the black one, actually goes into this red wire, but that is A11 on the jumper harness. So there's a lot of YouTube videos that show the jumper harness, or I mean that show it's the sixth one on the top of the harness, which is true, but for some reason, my jumper harness from Speed Factory, it's actually the seventh pin on the top, not the sixth. So, so yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Please like, share, subscribe if you could and appreciate all the people that have and continue we're we're now really close to a dyno day i'm trying to just um iron it out with the tuner because now everything's done exhaust is done boost solenoids done oh catch cans done that's the other thing i did the other day i didn't record it but just basically made another a and hose and then put my catch can right here so now the catch can's in there sturdy um yeah so that that's everything so now it should be ready to go make some jam so so yeah uh we'll we'll video the dyno day and have it have it for you guys to see and uh thanks for watching